Martinez, who won $16,000 yesterday. Now, she wants to use some of the winnings to spring for a new mattress because she is sick and tired of her current one, which she has had since the mid-'80s. That's, That's an <laughs> old mattress. Yeah. Wow. And it's, it used to be comfortable, and now I'm old. I'm old. The mattress is old. It's a lumpy mess, yeah, right? Yeah, that's right. And it's uh, it's, time. It's, it's time. time. it's time. It's time. You got to know when to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, One flip too many. <laughs> you got to get rid of that thing. Well, you are sitting very pretty right here. You've got sixteen thousand dollars, going for twenty-five thousand dollars. Now you don't have your lifelines, but if you get this one right. You get to switch the question lifeline, which is wonderful. And I have a lot of confidence. Yesterday you were nervous and then you pulled yourself together. You did great. I've got the Capital One check for a million dollars with your name on it. That's how good I feel about you, Karen. So what do you think? Are you ready to play? I am ready to play. Audience, are you ready to play? All right, then let's play millionaire. Okay, Carol, for $25,000. Cow's skull with calico roses and horse's skull with white rose are two celebrated pieces by what U.S. painter? Frederick Remington, Jasper Johns, Georgia O'Keeffe, Roy Lichtenstein. I can almost see one of them, the, one of the paintings, and I'm about. I'm thinking Georgia O'Keeffe. I'm like thinking Georgia O'Keeffe. Uh, lots of flowers, lots of desert um, landscapes in her paintings. But if I blow it, I'm just going to be so mad. So. <laughs> Not mad where you would strike anybody. Oh, mad. yeah. No, okay. <laughs> Not that kind of mad, I hope. <laughs> no, but my husband, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not his fault. And then, you know, that moment when you say final answer and then we wait, it's like a killer. It's yeah, like I know. <laughs> See, Georgia O'Keeffe, final answer. Okay? Yeah. All right. $25,000, the fourth wow. lifeline, switch the question. Yes! I'm oh, sorry. No, that's all right. <laughs> Going for $50,000, Carol. And this is a freebie. Now. This <laughs> is a freebie. The first Sea World opened in 1964 in what U.S. city? San Diego, California, San Antonio, Texas, Orlando, Florida, Aurora, Ohio. It is a free guess in the sense you have 25000 but you also have that switch the question. So if you really don't have any idea, you may want to see another question. I don't have any idea. Um, I used to live in San Diego, so that's sort of cool if I said it and it was right. <laughs> but um, it seems like that's the most obvious, so maybe that's not it. I'm going to, since it's a freebie, I'm, I'm going to switch the question, and then that next one's a freebie too, right? Yes, There you it go. Is. So, okay. I'll okay, we're going to switch the question, but you thought it might be San Diego? Let's see what it is. Mm -hmm. It <laughs> was San Diego. Oh, you know what? Who cares? Okay. That's, that's right. fine. Okay. That's fine. It's okay. That's right. You're calm. I'm calm. All right. Computer, please switch out of this question for another one valued at $50,000. Okay, which of these countries has never played host to the TV series Survivor. Costa Rica, Brazil, Kenya, Thailand. Do you I watch the show? Religiously. Oh, good. But I don't pay that much attention to where they oh. are. <laughs> you know, one island looks just like the next <laughs> island. Um, uh, let's see. I know in Thailand for sure. And they did have an African one, so that was probably Kenya. And they were just somewhere. You know what? It's free, right? It's free. Brazil, final answer. 
No, it's not Brazil. It was Costa Rica. But you know what? operator from the Funiac Springs, is that right? You were close, Meredith. How do you pronounce Very it? Very close, De Funiac. De Funiac, Florida. Where go. is that? De Funiac Springs. We're right on the Panhandle. We're almost exactly between Pensacola and Tallahassee. And the south end of our county, we have uh, some of the most beautiful beaches in the entire oh, very state nice. of Florida, in the entire country. You should come and visit. I would love to. I'll stay with you, okay? Oh, you can. Okay. I'll pull out the sofa. There you go. <laughs> now, why didn't you bring, you seem like a very warm, lovely, lovely person, but you didn't bring anybody with you from Well, the listen, Mayor, if you knew my friends, you'd understand. I can't bring them. <laughs> why can't you bring anybody them? Anybody that I trust to come with me is at home. They're on the phone to friend list. If you weren't phone-a-friendable, you could not come. I did not want to. You can't turn your back on those people. All right. Well, did any of your friends give you any advice? My best friend, before I came up here, she was like, Tamika, just keep your switch flipped off. Don't do anything crazy. Just don't be yourself. I think Tamika should be Tamika, all right? Be yourself. Thank you. All right, Thank there you, you go. Tamika, and we've all been warned. Thank you, you have been warned. You got the 15 questions to a million, you got the lifelines, are you ready to play? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's play. <laughs> Tamika, for $100, when a person gets unpleasant news, he is often advised, don't shoot the what? Carpenter, messenger, architect, game show hostess, Tamika. <laughs> Don't shoot the Don't game shoot show. the messenger B, final answer. Yes, that is it. Going for 200, Tamika. A common piece of safety advice encourages people to do what if their clothes catch fire? Think, look, and jump. Talk, watch, and listen. Stop, drop, and roll. Smell, taste, and walk. If I got this wrong, I would not be able to go back to work. I promise you that answer is stop, drop, and roll. C, final. You better know it as a 911 <laughs> operator. You got it for twenty dollars. Going for three hundred, Tamika. To reduce slippage, chalk is typically applied to the end of what piece of sporting equipment? Pool cue, tennis racket, golf putter, lacrosse stick. Is it a, really a sport? The answer is a pool cue final. <laughs> yeah, it's considered a sport. Absolutely, we got it for three hundred. Going for 500. Often derived from plants, tenderizer is a substance commonly added to what food before it is cooked? Pasta, bread dough, potatoes, meat. Tenderizer is for your meat. Final answer. It sure is. You have it for 500. Going for $1,000. French author Charles Perrault's Le Petit Chaperon Rouge is one of the earliest known versions of what children's tale? Jack and the Beanstalk, Princess and the Pea, Little Red Riding Hood, Rumpelstiltskin. Thank you, Miss Anderson, my high school French teacher. That answer is Little Red Riding Hood. See you finally. Yes, she talked to you well. You have one thousand dollars. Nice start. Got your first thousand under your belt. Can't leave without that, okay? Oh, Go. thank goodness. Yeah, absolutely. Over two thousand here. Maria Money Honey Bartiromo was the first journalist to provide live daily reports from what storied New York locale? Empire State Building, Stock Exchange Floor, Times Square, Lincoln Center. I have a pretty good idea, but I don't want to blow it this early in the game. And I got a good look at the audience on the way out here. They look pretty sober. So let's... Uh, <laughs> So let's ask them. Well, I gotta tell you, they're not, but we'll ask them anyhow. <laughs> Audience, Tamika needs your help. If you're ready, vote now. Okay, 
87% believe it is the stock exchange floor. Nothing else even comes close to that. Where were you uh, leaning? That's about? where I was going. Okay. So that just shows me I'm not as insane as I think I sometimes am. So we're going to go with B, final answer. You're right on the money, all of you. You got a $2,000. $4,000 question, we come back right after this. And we are back with Tamika Reed and her Capital One check for $2,000. It's nice, doesn't it? So $2,000 so far? You said you wanted to pull out couch, so... Well, you know, Mayor, I need a sleep number bed. Oh, you do? Oh, everybody's yes, looking for a bed today. Well, you know, you gotta sleep. You do? You, you might as well sleep. do it in comfort. Absolutely. Well, how much does that cost? Um, more than I got right now. Okay, so let's well then let's keep going. <laughs> You're going for $4,000 here, two lifelines. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's play. $4,000, Tamika. Which of these destinations is also known as the Holy See? Jerusalem, Vatican City, Luxembourg, Andorra. Of course, that would be... There again, I'm pretty sure I know what the answer is, but I'm not 110% solid, so let's go with the... Actually, let's phone a friend. Okay, who do you want to call? And let's call Michaelin. Michaelin, okay, we're gonna get Michaelin on the line. Hello? Hey, Michaelin? Yeah. Hey, it's Meredith from Millionaire. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. You know who I'm with? Tamika. Tamika. Yeah. yeah. She's going for four thousand dollars, and she wants you to help her out. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you guys are friends. <laughs> you have 30 <laughs> seconds, Tamika, and your time starts now. Mike Lynn, which of these destinations is also known as the Holy See? The Holy See, S-E-E. -E. Jerusalem, Vatican City, Luxembourg, or Andorra? The Holy See, S-E-E. -E. Vatican City. That's what I thought. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Knock them dead. Of course. <laughs> OK. Okay, she seemed pretty confident. Yes, she's very holy like that. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so is her computer, probably. Yes, yes exactly. <laughs> um, so we're going to go with Vatican City and make that my final answer. Good for you. You got it. <laughs> All right, this is for 8000 Tamika. Legendary blues musician Muddy Waters is best known for playing what instrument? Guitar, saxophone, trumpet, piano. My grandfather is the biggest blues fan on the face of the planet. And he loves Muddy Waters and he plays the guitar. Final answer. He sure does. You got it for his for $16,000, Tamika. When a custom wedding dress is being fitted, the mock-up dress is commonly made out of what material? Rayon, chenille, damask, muslin. Ooh. Well, since I'm anti-marriage. Oh, I you have... are? <laughs> no, you're not. Ooh. I have no idea. So let's use the 50-50. Okay, computer, please randomly take away two of the wrong answers. Okay, it's either rayon or muslin. Ooh, oh my good gravy. Um. But we're gonna say rayon, final answer. Is the it audience, muslin? Yeah, they it's kinda muslin. knew it is muslin. Sorry, Tamika, but you know what? Thank you. you have a thousand dollars. Sit there for one second. It was a pleasure to meet you. you. Stay put, and you folks stay put too, because there's more millionaire coming up in just a moment. We'll be right back. Closed captioning, sponsored by. And joining me now is Michael Long the Third, an electrician.
pediatrician from North Arlington, New Jersey. Welcome yes. to you, Michael. Thank you very much. Are the other guys on the job, are they watching you? They yeah, you they're coming. all watching. Yeah. We have uh, Woo Woo, Flatliner, Angry Young Man. These uh, are the guys you work with? Yes, that's their nicknames. We have okay. all nicknames. They're, we have quite characters. Now, quite are characters. they rooting you on? I, I Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, no. Why wouldn't more, they be rooting you on? More fodder later on, you know, something else to get me with. Oh, so they want to see you fall on your face. Yeah, you're running the $100 question. Just sit there and go hum and a 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 hum. Well, you know what, Michael? Let's prove them wrong, okay? Yeah. All right. Are you ready to play? Let's rock. Then let's rock. Let's play. <laughs> For $100, Michael, a common piece of advice warns you to be careful what you wish for, because what? You just might get it. Seeing is believing. Life is cruel. Dude, she's your cousin. <laughs> you heard about that, huh? <laughs> All right. I'm going to have to go with <laughs> uh, A, final answer. Uh, that's the right one. Yeah, See? That was easy. Going well, for 200 in which of these games do players guess letters one by one in an attempt to identify a word? Oh boy. Tic tac toe, blackjack, hangman, duck duck goose. There's duck duck. Well, I better get this. this is my fun, son's favorite game. C, hangman, final answer. Yes, it is hangman. Oh. Going for 300. A person who ruthlessly attacks the most vital part of something is Good. said to go for what part of the body? The jugular, the clavicle, the biceps, the incisor. Um, <laughs> that's a weird one. I'm going to go with A, jugular, final answer. It sure is. Yeah. Yeah. Go for 500, Michael. Since the 1800s, which of these foods do restaurants often bake in a brick oven? Tacos, macaroni and cheese, hamburgers, pizza. Okay, since uh, I like these things, I'm going to go with D, final answer. Yeah, I like it too. You have it for $500. Going so for $1,000, Michael. Uh, According to the title of a 1992 self-help bestseller, men and women come from what two very different places? Yeah. Uptown and downtown, <laughs> Mars and Venus, North Pole and South Pole, the ocean and the desert. Uh, I'm very good at that one. I'll go with B, final answer. C, you showed off your friends. You got it for $1,000. Oh, <laughs> yes, your friends thought you weren't going to do well, and look at you now. You got $1,000. Going for $2,000. The U.S. Department of Justice is headed by an appointed official who holds what title? Attorney General, Surgeon General, Postmaster General, Solicitor General, Department of Justice. Oh boy. I don't like the solicitor. I don't like that. Remember, you have all your lifelines if you need them, Michael. Yep. I'm going to go with A. Final answer. It's A. Yeah. You have it. This is for 4,000. Which of the following is an example of a mixed number? 0. 0.5, 4 twelfths, 3 and 3 quarters, 80 percent. That would be C, final answer. Yeah, you knew that one right off the yes. bat. You have it for $4,000. Michael, you know what that sound means. Yeah. <laughs> what does it mean? I gotta no, wake up. <laughs> it, means, <laughs> it means we're done for today, but you're gonna have to come back tomorrow, all right? Yeah, I can take it. All right, I'll well, I can take it if you can take it. Yeah. I'll be back too. And you folks, please join us until then from New York. Bye for now.